Hello everyone, welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. I am pumped today for today's October plan with me, but before we get into it, I do wanna say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. More on them in a little bit, but let's start off with the month at a glance. This month I opted for a one page month at a glance, and one thing that I knew that I wanted to incorporate into this spread and all of the spreads this month was some real fall vibes. This is my favorite time of the year, so I want that represented in my bullet journal. I have to admit that it was pretty therapeutic to be drawing leaves and twigs and acorns and pumpkins. I feel like they aren't too difficult to draw, which makes them more fun to draw. I'm not an artist, but I feel like when it comes to simple shapes, like I really get into it. And then when I add the color to these, ooh, I just love the look. As you can see, there's an extra line added at the bottom of each day of the month in this month at a glance spread. And that line is gonna be divided into three mini little trackers that will track my hydration, my meditation, and my yoga. So that will be represented by H, M, and Y. And I just sometimes like to incorporate the habit trackers into either the weekly spread or the month at a glance spread because some months I'm just not feeling having a whole dedicated page to it. And I do find that it does sometimes make it easier to be consistent in filling these habit trackers out when they're put into spreads that I actively use a lot, which the month at a glance and the weekly spreads are the ones that I, I'm always looking for because that's where the most planning happens in my bullet journal. Even though this spread ended up having a lot more doodles than I'm used to incorporating into my spread, I really did like how this turned out. It's fall without being, I think, overly cluttered. Um, it's still clean looking, at least in my opinion, and I just love the added touch of changing the colors of the lines of my habit tracker as well. So very happy. I think this ended up being one of my favorite spreads this month. next spread coming up is a project planner. No, this is not a project planner for school, but you could definitely use it for your school needs if you're a student. This is a project planner for work-related projects that I want to do. So stuff associated with maybe not the YouTube channel, but like just the Caitlin's Corner umbrella. Um, not trying to be secretive. These aren't associated with any brand or anything, but I want to make sure that I'm interested in pursuing these projects before I announce them. Like, I want them to be sure things before I really like say, hey, this is happening. So there are three of those types of projects that I would like to either have launched or have significant progress in before the end of the year. And one of the things I've realized while adapting to you know full-time YouTube life is that even though I technically have more time to work on YouTube now that I'm not doing student life too, that time can easily get eaten away by other things that pop up. Um, so to make sure that I'm making progress on new things and uh, new projects typically involve lots of extra time to figure them out and educate yourself. Like I really need to get clear on a, on a plan for attacking all of them because they've been things I've been wanting to work on for like months now. And it's like every month something comes up that kind of keeps me from pushing forward on them. So to combat some frustration I've been having, this project planner is gonna come in handy. Basically how this one works is each project has a timeline for October, November, and December. And below that, I can write down for each project some of the main things I wanna get accomplished. I'll also write due dates for those items so that I have like a really specific plan because whenever you're trying to accomplish a goal, the more specific you can be, the greater the chance that you're going to succeed and go through with it. 
For these next two spreads, I brought in some more doodling action. At the top left of the first page, I'm drawing some books and a bouquet of flowers because this is going to be where I put my fall reading list. And on the next page, I did like a, I don't even know what to describe it. Just some horizontal lines that I could color in with fun fall colors. That There's the title for that doodle with a picture of a pumpkin as well. And that is going to be for my fall to-do list page. I really like it whenever I'm drawing lists to find ways to make them look a little bit more pleasing to the eye than just writing a basic list. So definitely adding doodles here gave them some life. I am so happy that black washi tape was able to get incorporated into this month's spreads. I missed it last month. And it also kind of adds that Halloween-y vibe that I didn't really do with the other doodles in this spread. Um, maybe I'll do a Halloween type of bullet journal spread in a Planner Monday post that I do on Instagram every Monday, which if you're not already, you can follow me at Instagram at Caitlin Marie De Silva. There are so many great titles on my fall reading list. I really hope I'm able to get to all of them this season. The one that I am really excited to read is Everything is Figuratable by Marie Forleo. I've been watching a ton of her interviews and press for this new book that she came out with and I feel like her her voice is something that really resonates with me. Of course I have some life things like drinking a pumpkin spice latte or carving a pumpkin on my fall to-do list. But on the work side of things I'm hoping to brush up on some of my handwriting skills. So one resource that I'm planning to help with that goal of mine is Skillshare. For those of you who don't know Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills and by getting a premium membership you can get unlimited access to all classes and choose the ones that best fit your interests. I've been tackling the comprehensive guide to hand lettering course to get some better ideas on how to think about composition when lettering, not something I'm very familiar with, but I'm loving it so far. An annual subscription costs less than $10 a month, but if you sign up with the link in the description, you can get a two month free trial. Definitely worth checking out, especially for those of you who want to take your planner spreads to the next level by learning some new handwriting or doodling skills. I honestly can't get over how all this color added so much life to these doodles. I used a mixture of Tombows and Crayolas. They'll all be linked in the description box below too. I'm obsessed. Last but definitely not least is the weekly spread. So last month's weekly spread was a vertical spread, but it was a little bit more on the intricate side of things. So I wanted to bring it back to the basics by apparently drawing a lot of a lot of blocks. <laughs> so the top block is where I write which day of the week it is. You could also write the number of the day of the week. Definitely a lot of space for that. In the middle block is where I am going to have a little meal planner so I can write down ideas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and avoid temptation to eat out. That is always a very real temptation. And at the bottom block is where I have a section to write the to-dos for the days. You could also write any appointments that you have, classes, meetings, you know, the list goes on. spread was so simple I really did feel like it needed some color not just to give it some fall vibes but just to make it a little bit more interesting the only regret that I do have is that I switched the colors for each section so it went from green to this orange that I'm adding to the menu planner section and then to a brown for the to-do list section and I wish I would have just stayed consistent with one color I know that's very picky thing a very picky thing for me to say but uh, looking back I think it would have looked a little bit nicer 
closer, but maybe once it's filled in, I'll like the look of the changing vibes of each section of the spread. I could have also added some fall doodles to this to add some more character to the spread, which I might do in the future. But for now, I do like this template. It's a very basic template that you can get really creative with. And it's also super functional, which is ultimately what I really care about. And that's a wrap for October's plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already. And I would love to know in the comments below, what is your number one fall activity? Something that I do every fall that I didn't really touch on when I was creating my fall to-do list, but it is on there, is I watch You've Got Mail. I have said it before and I'll say it again, that movie with Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks is my favorite thing in the world. And I love watching it around this time of the year, especially because it's set during fall and winter in New York, which just sounds like a dream. <laughs> so I will see you all very soon with a new video. And until then, bye everyone.